Brandon Johnson here again, and thanks for joining me. Today we're taking a look at the classic old-time tune, Cattle in the King. Now this is a traditional old-time fiddle tune dating all the way back to the 1800s. And what's really cool about this tune is it follows just kind of a standard AABB format. However, the A part uses the Mixolydian scale over the major chords, and the B part uses the Aeolian scale over the minor chords, which gives it just kind of a really cool, kind of unique character to the melody. And the original melody was recorded by Texas fiddler Captain Moses M.J. Bonner. And the original title was Yearlings in the Cane Break, whatever that means. Now Captain Moses ended up enlisting and fighting in the Civil War, and he came back and popularized this tune in various fiddle competitions in the 1920s. And he was also an accomplished jig dancer. And another kind of unique feature of this song is it's often played pizzicato, which is referring to plucking the strings of the fiddle as opposed to using a bow. So in this lesson, we're gonna look at the complete sort of Tony Rice style melody, along with the chord break as well, and the sort of overall format of the chords in this song. And we'll also look at some kind of unique aspects of this melody that are very specific to Tony Rice and his approach to the guitar as well. So I hope you enjoy this one. Let's check it out. All right, let's take a look at measure number one now for Cattle in the Cane. So we're looking at an A chord here, and we're gonna start out on a downstroke on the open high E. It's actually gonna be a dotted eighth note. So it's gonna have a really, kind of a little bit of a, a ring out to it. And then with our index finger, we're gonna play second fret E to open. That's on an up down. And then what I like to do with my middle finger here is go to the B string third fret to second fret to third fret. Then we're going back up to that high E. And then again, the same phrase that we played on the B string, the third fret to second fret to open. And we're going to finish this measure with the second fret G to open. So I'm playing this whole measure with my index finger and my middle finger. Okay, and that's going to lead us into measure number two. Okay, looking at measure number two now, we're, we have a G chord here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on this fourth fret G on a down stroke. We're gonna play that with our ring finger to open. And then we're gonna ascend. So we're gonna go second fret G, fourth fret G. And then holding this fourth fret G, we're gonna hit third fret B on a down stroke. And then open high E on an up stroke. I'm actually holding this chord here. It's kind of like a little bit of a a two note chord here between that fourth fret G and that third fret B. And we're gonna get into some cross picking here in a minute. Right when we get to that high E, we're gonna descend again. So we're gonna go high E to third fret B to fourth fret G on an upstroke. And we're just holding this two note chord while we pick out those notes. You can kind of let them ring out like that, kind of like you're, you're cross-picking over a chord. And then from there you'll see open G, fourth fret G on an upstroke, and then you see a high E thrown in there. And that's where it's cross-picking because we're actually crossing over that open B string. And then we have an upstroke on the fourth fret G again. So again, we're holding this two note chord and just kind of cross-picking out these notes. You see that third fret B there on a downstroke, that's on an eighth note. And then we have another eighth note to finish out the phrase on an upstroke on the open G. Okay, let's play measures one and two now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two. 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, and that's going to lead us into measure number three. Okay, looking at measure number three now, this, this measure really starts out very similar to measure number one. It's over an A chord again. And what you'll notice here is that we have a 16th note rest at the beginning of this measure. So we're going to start off with that 16th note rest, followed by the open high E on a downstroke. That's going to be on an eighth note. We're going to let that ring out a little bit. And then we have second fret high E to open. And again, we're playing this with our index and our middle finger here. We're going to go down to the B string, just like we did in measure number one. Back to the high E string. Then again, we have that same phrase that we had in the first measure on the B string again, the third fret B to second fret B. But instead of going to the open B here, we're going to go back to third fret B, and we're going to ascend again. And we're going to go up to that open high E this time, followed by third fret high E. Then we have the open high E on a downstroke, followed by third fret high E. Now I like to play this with my middle finger, this third fret high E. And that's going to, that's going to be the beginning of a kind of a descending run that starts in measure number four. Okay, let's take a look at measure number four. Okay, so when we look at measure number four here, what you'll notice is that coming out of measure number three, we have third fret high E on an upstroke. And then going into the first downbeat of measure number four, we have third fret high E on a downstroke. So basically what that amounts to is a up down on the third fret high E. Coming out of measure number three, right? Going into measure number four. And then from there we have second fret high E. And then we're gonna reach with our little finger to the fifth fret B on a downstroke. Third fret B. The second fret B. We're just playing a basic kind of diatonic major scale here. And we have fourth fret G to second fret G. And then again, the same kind of interval on the D string, the fourth fret D to second fret D to fourth fret D. From there, we move to the G string with our index finger and play two to four to two on a down, up, down. Now here at the end, we'll just play that second fret G and let it ring out when we hit the repeat sign and go back into measure number one. But you'll see when we get to this measure for the second time, there's actually a pickup measure going into measure number five. But before we hit that, let's play measures three and four now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. All right, now let's take a look at the A part now, one time through without the repeat signs. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. 
three, four, two, two, three, four. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, and that's going to lead us into part B.